If you want to upgrade your PC and you're not sure that the power supply in your PC can support the additional components, there's an easy way to determine this accurately and I'm going to show you all the steps in this video. In my example, I'll be upgrading my Dell Inspiron 3671 PC by adding this AMD RX 6600 XT GPU to it. The first step is to determine what is the power of the current PSU that you have in your PC. If you built the PC yourself, you already have this information. And also, if you bought the PC like from a manufacturer like from Dell or Lenovo, you can ask them or you can look in the documentation. But here I'm going to show you how to determine this by opening the PC and looking at the label of the power supply. So let's start with this first step. So let's open the Dell. And usually the PSU is on the bottom or the top of the PC. Here in my case, it is on the bottom. I'm going to zoom in so for you to see the PSU. And it says here that this PSU is 290 watts. Now, the second step is to determine what is the maximum consumption of this PC in its current state. And to be able to achieve this, you need this little and cheap device. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you if you want to check it out. So this is a watt meter and a volt meter also and an amperage meter. But we're going to use it as a watt meter in this video. And the second thing, apart from this device, is you need to stress your PC to the maximum to see how much consumption does it take in its current state. So I'm going to show you first how to connect this device to this PC and then I'm going to switch to screen recording and we're going to stress the PC and at the same time I'm going to keep a camera on this watt meter to see the power consumption of the PC at its max in its current state. To install the power meter you need to plug it in the power outlet. So here it has a plug just plug it in the power outlet and it will light up automatically. Now you need to connect the PC's power cord to the watt meter. So connect it like this. And let me bring the camera up close so that you can see the watt meter. Now the next step is to make sure that it is the wattage that we are measuring and not something else. So we have the function here on the watt meter. In case it is not watt here, toggle it so it goes to watt. So here it is. Now we need to turn on the PC. And you see that the PC started consuming electricity. So now I'm going to switch to screen recording and I'm going to keep a camera on the watt meter. I'll be using three applications to stress the PC and all three applications are free. The first one is Cinebench and this is to stress the CPU. The second one is Fermark and this is to stress the GPU. And the third one is Crystal Diskmark and this is to stress the hard drive. I'm going to leave links in the description for these applications. Here I already installed the applications on my PC and I'll be launching them now. So this is Cinebench and then I'm going to launch Fermark and then I'm going to launch Crystal Diskmark. So now for Cinebench I'm going to choose CPU multi-core and I'm going to launch it with the default settings. So this will stress the CPU and you notice that already the power consumption went up from around 4050 to 110. And now I'm going to launch Fermark. And for Fermark, I'm going to put it on 4K and then here click on Run. And now I'm going to launch Crystal Disk Mark. And for Crystal Disk Mark, I'm going to choose the mechanical hard drive. And this is the drive that consumes the most of power. So I'm going to select my hard drive and then I'm going to click on All. So now I'm going to leave it for about five minutes and then I'm going to come back. And the good thing about this watt meter is that it will memorize the highest wattage that it went to. And we're going to see this after the test. So let's check out the results. I'm going to press on function here and we're going to go to wattage high. So this is wattage high and this is the maximum wattage that we reached when we stressed the PC to the maximum. But this is only the peak wattage. You saw that when the tests were running, the PC was consuming almost 110 to 115 watts only. So now let's go to the third step and the third step consists of determining how much power is rated the component that you'll be installing in your PC. So for me, I'm going to see this RX 6600 XT, how much power will it take to the maximum. And to do this, we're going to use AI and we're going to use Gemini from Google. So let's go and do this. 
So it's true that we're using AI here to determine the power consumption of the components that we want to add to our PC. But of course, also you can query this or also you can go to the manufacturer's website and get this information. But here, because AI is a trend, we're going to do it with Gemini. So in your web browser, go to gemini.google.com and type this query. So what is the power consumption of an AMD RX 6600 XT GPU? Of course, here, replace AMD RX 6600 XT GPU with the components that you want to add. So let's see the answer of Gemini. So this is Gemini's answer. And in this answer, there are two numbers that are the most important. So the first one is the TDP, and this is 160 watts. So this is the maximum consumption that is documented on AMD's website. But you see here another number, which is 180 watts. And this is like sometimes the manufacturers of the cars, they take the chip from AMD and they push it a little bit further. So we're gonna take an average number to do the calculations, which is 170 watts. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the calculations. To do the calculations, I'm gonna use a very simple method. So this is Windows Calculator. So we determined that the PSU in our Dell PC is 290 watts. So let's put 290 here. And we need to subtract the number that we got when we stretched the PC to the maximum. So we got a peak of 142 watts, but the average usage was always around 110 watts. So I'm going to increase it a little bit. I'm going to put 120 watts. So we need to subtract 120 watts from 290. So let's do this. So minus 120 equals. So we have 170. And 170, this is the maximum usable wattage that remain in the PSU. And this is exactly the number that Gemini gave us. So in theory, we can install the GPU in our PC and the PSU will support it. So now I'm going to go and install the GPU. And then we're going to test if our calculations were correct. So let me install the GPU in the PC. And by the way, if you want to see the details on how to upgrade the GPU in a small PC like this one, I have previously made a video about that. You can check the link to this video in the description. So this is the GPU installed. Let's turn on the PC now and see the results. So let me start the same applications to stress the PC and see the maximum consumption that we're going to reach. So here are the final results. And you see that the consumption when the PC is stressed to the maximum is around 310, 311 watts. And this is a little bit more than the PSU can provide. But all PSUs has a small margin, and this is a very acceptable number in my opinion. Especially because we're exaggerating here, because it's very rare to use the CPU to 100%, the GPU to 100%, and the hard drive also to 100%. So for instance, I'm gonna stop Cinebench, and you're gonna notice how the wattage consumption will be reduced immediately. So now I'm going to be also performing another test, and this is more a real-life test. I'm going to launch Fortnite, and we're going to see if Fortnite will go beyond 300 watts. So you see when I game, the power consumption goes really beyond 290 watts. And this is more of a real-life usage. And the PSU is more than sufficient for this upgrade that I just did. If you have any questions or comments about this tool, or about the topics that I covered in this video, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. If you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.